Hello Internet people! In this video I'll show you how to create a PayPal Sandbox account so that you can make test orders with PayPal on your WooCommerce website. We will set up a personal account, with this you can pay for test products and a business account, which is the one that you need to have on your web shop, so that people don't do this when you ask them for credit card to test the payment. Why are you running? Tip sweat punch. All right. Before we start, I just want to mention that for the personal account, you just need an existing PayPal account. With that, you can sign up for PayPal developer account and create a sandbox for testing. It sounds complicated, but it's really straightforward. So let's start by going to Google and PayPal developer. and click on the first option and here log into the dashboard just log in with your paypal account and here once you're logged in click on accounts and if you didn't see this then if you see this landing page here all you need to do is come to uh, top right corner click on dashboard and then you end up here as well so you can select accounts Arnie, was that hard? No problemo. So let's go ahead and create an account. I'm gonna create first a personal, so a buyer account, so you can actually just uh, buy with this account in your sandbox account. Uh, you'll see it in a second. And this region and stuff, it doesn't really matter uh, if you mainly do business in US or in UK, then select that region. I'm gonna keep US for now, and then create it. We'll go back to dashboard if accounts you can see here there's a personal account sandbox account so let's use that one here you see you have john doe these are the email id and the password so these credentials are to be used only when you're actually paying on your sandbox accounts or when you're testing your website and then you can use this to pay with PayPal. And you can enjoy your fake money like this. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, if you want to change this uh, crazy looking email, it, you can do that here. Just scroll down until you see edit and then just change the email to whatever you want it to be. It really doesn't matter. It's just for testing. So uh, it could be something like uh, test and then you can put your your domain dot com or what, whatever you want so then you can use this one and then just save and then let's create same thing for business so again create account and this type let's create a merchant account so business and I'm still going to keep United States as the country create and it tells you a sandbox account created successfully and you scroll down here you can see you have business here so let's again view edit account and what you need here is your api credentials so let's go now to woocommerce dashboard so go to woocommerce then settings and here at the top click on the payments tab and find paypal and click on setup or manage in your case maybe and then make sure that you have enabled paypal standard and also that you have enabled paypal sandbox and then scroll down and save changes and then if you scroll down again you'll see that you have sandbox api username and sandbox api password and signature this is what you need to copy and paste from paypal and let me quickly show you how you can do it in paypal checkout in the left menu go to woocommerce and then click on settings and then find this payment tab on top and in the paypal express row click on the manage button and on this page if you scroll down make sure you have paypal checkout enabled and what's important here the environment should be set to sandbox and you can see this is where we're going to enter all the api sandbox details and sandbox api username it's this one let's grab it 
copy and the password you got your API signature and the rest you don't need so let's scroll down and hit save changes I hope all of that didn't sound confusing like this from laps with your four wins hey if you like this video so far i would appreciate if you can hit the like button that would help me a lot thanks and then make sure you have your sandbox account selected and then go to your website and then refresh the page where your checkout page and here paypal just click on it and here, when the pop-up appears, make sure you see Sandbox PayPal. This, is, this means that it's a test account and it's not gonna mess up anything else. So you can come here back to your, um, to your PayPal account. And here, just go under the personal view edit account. And just grab the email ID, copy paste here, and then the password. Again, copy and paste here and then log in. I know, I know, it takes a bit of time, but we're almost there. So you can see, hi John, and here you can select the payment method. So for example, if you want to pay with Visa or a credit union, whatever, I'm just gonna use my PayPal account here, pay now. And these are all test cards and test things. So don't worry even if you pay with something. As long as you've not entered your credit card in the sandbox, you should be fine. And once it's processed, you can see I am on my thank you page. Now you can let your hair loose in a summer breeze because you can do test payments with your PayPal. And that's about it. This is how you can set up your PayPal in your WooCommerce. And if you need a, a test credit card from PayPal, it's actually also easy to generate. All you have to do is when you're in your PayPal developer console in the dashboard, just go to your name and then I'll click on my account. And then here you have on the left under mock credit card generator. And here you can generate any, any type of card. So Visa, if you need certain uh, country, you can also generate those uh, so let's say I want a MasterCard generate and now in your sandbox account you can use test credit card details so for example if I go to my website and on this page I have some fake details here and then if I end click on the PayPal button here and notice that you have to have the sandbox paypal.com otherwise this won't work this is the test account and here in the credit card section you can just copy paste these details so for example this mastercard and you check expiration date and the cvv And then you're able to pay. Arnie, how do you generate credit cards? Cocaine. My name is Robert and if this is your first time here and you want to learn more about how to improve your website, get more traffic and other website related stuff, make sure to hit that subscribe Ding button dong. so you don't miss out on anything. Here are two videos that I think you should watch next. Whoosh.